Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Friday, January 8th, 2021. And today is the non-farm payrolls report that will be due out here shortly. I am recording the video ahead of the number, so I am not sure uh, where the market's going to be at at the open. Following that number, we do normally get a reaction out of it. Uh, but right now, we are trading higher as we approach uh, the number which should be out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And this non-farm payrolls uh, report will be coming on the heels of an all-time high uh, here in the S&P 500 and some of the other markets as well. So uh, what I want to do this morning is take a look at what has happened historically when you get the non-farm payrolls report coming after a strong high. And I'm, I'm going to use a 52-week high to define this uh, sizable high that we are trading at. So let me go ahead and set this up and discover. We'll look at all four instruments with an, a setup that enters the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exits the market at the close of regular trading hours, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. For this one, since it's ahead of the number, I don't know where we're going to be opening. Um, I'm not going to use an opening filter. I have looked at it both ways, um, and there are some differences, but they're not huge differences. So I'm just going to leave the opening filters out of this one for this study that we're going to be looking at. Next, I'm going to go to the price pattern section, and I'm going to say that yesterday closed at a 52-week high. Uh, that is going to be available here in the active today. The active today section is showing you all the things that are applicable from our price patterns uh, library, since that's what we're looking at, all the things that are applicable for today. So patterns that happened just based on yesterday's uh, trading session. So uh, if I go to the new high section, we've got uh, day after a 52 week high close. If I click on that, it actually comes from this uh, category right here. And if I scroll down, you'll be able to see it there. Um, but I've added that to the test. And then next, I want to go into the market events section. And I want to say that today is the non-farm payrolls uh, report. So I can do that right here in the market events. Just scroll down just a little bit. Hit equals next to non-farm payrolls report. It's also available in the active today section as well. And since this one's at a 52-week high close, I'm not going to add any indicators or anything because it's obviously um, at highs. So that's going to be a above some uh, moving averages. So let me go ahead and hit view results. All right, here we go. These are the results of going long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at the close 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when the prior day closed at a 52-week high and today is the non-farm payrolls report. So historically, dating back to 2003, we've got 27 samples in the S&P. We've got 27 in the NASDAQ, 23 in the Dow, and 11 in the Russell. If we take a look at the win rates on these, you'll see the S&P, 70% of the 27 samples that we have have closed higher than the opening print that day. The NASDAQ, 63% of them have closed higher than the opening print. The Dow, 57%, and the Russell, 55%. Russell has a pretty small sample size there. The others, a little bit better. Not huge samples, but Russell, pretty light on samples there. Uh, if we look at the average win, average loss, Average loss, uh, a little bit bigger than the average win here in the S&P. That is also true for the NASDAQ. That is true for the Dow. And then the Russell is pretty similar in size. So uh, Russell looks very neutral to me. Um, the other ones have a, a handful more samples, and they are all uh, skewing a little bit more towards a green candlestick. So historically, following the 52-week high close, the NFP report has not usually been bearish. It has uh, leaned more to the long side that session. So hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, good luck today, and we will see you next time.